Hello Anders, welcome to DJI. Uh, it's great that we're gonna be talking about the Phantom story today. My name is Paul and I've been at DJI for coming up on six years or so. Uh, I've been a product manager at DJI. Um, I started around when the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, I believe. We're jump starting the story directly from the uh, flame wheel and the original NASA. A drone in the early days was uh, a, I guess it would be a, a frame kit, right? With a flight controller, with motors, with propellers, uh, the ESCs and a bunch of wires with a, with, a, with a receiver and then a remote control. That's what you would get if you bought a drone uh, in the early days. And, and then that then <coughs> changed and, and evolved into what you see here, the original Phantom 1. The Phantom was what really, was what really um, kind of put everything together where you didn't really have to know too much of the hobby side. You just kind of, you're able to take it out of the box and fly it, but it was still just a flying drone with nothing attached, right? Phantom 1 jumps to the Phantom 2 Vision, which is our, uh, this is where DJI started to get into our, our own cameras. The name of the Phantom came from Frank, our, our CEO. Um, it, 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 in Chinese, it only means flying fairies, and that then translated to Phantom. And this is now the Phantom 3, uh, Phantom 3 Professional. I believe the success of the Phantom comes from its, uh, its, its, its one major ability is to be able to be taken out of the box and up and running and flying in minutes. And then this is where the drone itself started to get much smarter with the built-in sensors uh, and that's the Phantom 4. Today is, uh, it's essentially like this. Um, you have everything ready for you. Uh, you pretty much charge the battery. Uh, you charge your remote control, you put your phone on and you start flying. So my, my best experience with the Phantom series is actually back in the, I think it was 2013, I was sitting at a presentation of the new Phantom 2 Vision Plus and the DJI representative mentioned geofencing that there was a way to use the technology to help with the safety and security challenges of drone products. And this was such an early time, there weren't any articles about near misses or sightings. But, but here, there was a company that was already doing something on board the drone, so that I, as a, a lawyer and, and policy uh, thought leader, would have a solution that's not about a restriction, it's about what you can do with the amazing technology. So to me, that's, that's the best memory. It's not, not actually flying, it's, it's about learning that there are technical solutions to legal and policy challenges. So DJI was originally founded in 2006, and really the company started off as a components manufacturer. And over the years, as our capabilities advanced to include all the different pieces that we needed in order to, full, to build a, a complete UAV system, that's when we really started to scale up. And that really started with the original uh, Phantom series. And of course, over the years, We've expanded that product portfolio to include the M600, the Mavic, uh, and of course some of the camera systems as well. So the first time I was flying a drone, it was actually uh, very, very close to here. Um, but we used to have a field next to one of our offices and we do training flights there. 
Um, but it was a great opportunity just to get familiar with the controls and how everything works. Uh, it's great, it's good fun. <laughs>